Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. Alright, last time I said that we were going to be working, we're going to be doing more with strings. And I specifically said slicing. And what slicing is, well, let's just get into it. Alright, if I can type. Alright, strings live in quotation. So, just a reminder, equal sign, assign, linking information to a variable. Alright, so, now, strings live in quotation marks. And again, still going to just work with double quotations, we'll worry about the difference between single and double. Now, purple predefined function. string that is the type of object now we're starting to get into more keywords with uh, Python everything is an object in Python Python is an object oriented language again we'll slowly start adding some more of these things all right now last video we worked with range and we had st start stop and step or interval however you want to think about it so remember the first number it was zero so now here's a new character that we haven't seen yet uh, so open bracket zero and close bracket now remember how I said the first number in Python is zero well in slicing it's the same rules so zero the first position is going to be the first letter the zero is the first so everything is going to be off by one so now so if we wanted the Y to come out it would be Y is the second letter so it's one okay so this is the instance right at the moment now this is where slicing starts to really happen because all right another another thing uh, another term we need to learn is immutable there's mutable and Im immutable in Python just a fancy fancy way to say can change and can't change mutable is you're able to change it immutable is you cannot change it and strings are immutable so you can take parts of them but you cannot change them or do anything to them. So now, remember how I said just like range, start, stop, and step? So when we used range functions, we used we used commas. And in slicing, we're going to use colons. So we've seen colons when we use the for loop or creating our own definition. So, all right, what happened here is it's the position one starting at the second letter and it's going to go through, remember the, the stop, exclusive, okay, slicing, same rule, exclusive, up to but not including. So this is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, not including five. So one, two, three, four letters came out. So that is how you'd use start and stop. Now, this is what took me a while. You can still use start by leaving it blank. It defaults to zero. So any guesses what's going to happen? It's going to include the first and go up to but not include the fifth position. So I uh, include P and go right up to O again, but not including. So, all right. So, all right, let's look at this. One, two, three, well, here, I'll just show you another function. Len. Did, did we see what that did? Number of items in the container length that's all it is length 
So Python Basics has 13 items. That's including the space. So now, now let's touch on this. So if we do 13, what's going to happen? Out of range because we got to include zero. So it's really the 12th position. And that's how we get the full thing out. Okay, more with slicing later. We're gonna start using some more for loops. But uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. Hope you're getting something out of it. Uh, see you next time. Thanks.